The call went out. We have to go to Dunkirk. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You know where we're going. Into war, George. I'll be useful, sir. Sort of ours. Before I ever worked with Chris, I was, you know, a fan of his work, um, starting off with Memento and then Insomnia and then going back and watching Following. And so it was it was a real privilege to to begin to work with him all those years ago. And, you know, for me, he makes, I suppose, what can be termed blockbusters. But for me, they're, you know, challenging and they tick all of the boxes that you would hope for in a blockbuster, but they also sort of ask you questions and uh, and demand of you as an audience member and I think that is wonderful in, in kind of in cinema today we we need that where are we going Dunkirk I'm not going back if we go they will die if your job is to portray something truthfully and honestly then if, if it's happening in front of your eyes it, it helps you enormously and it's a big advantage so I uh, you know, when the spits fires are flying over for real and the water's on fire and the destroyer is tipping and it's all happening around you, of course you're heading towards a more truthful response, you know. So it, it, it helps us and I think it also helps the viewer. You're weekend sailors, not the bloody Navy. You should be at home! There's no hiding from this, son. We have a job to do. Turn it around! such a small environment and we did you know such fantastic actors to work with and you know that was the whole experience for me it was really really intimate and despite the film working on a big epic scale my experience was very small and contained and really satisfying if you'll fight on the beaches if you'll fight on the landing ground we shall never surrender thought about it growing up in school you know because Ireland was neutral during the Second World War and uh, it was only really honestly when this film came about that I began to read up on it and see the significance of it and see sort of what that Dunkirk spirit really sort of entailed and what it means and it's it is quite powerful and quite moving when you think about it.